Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you joined me for another hiking video in our Colorado hiking series. In today's video, I'm going to be hiking the Sutton Mine Trail. There's a little rain coming in right now, but it should pass and it's not heavy at all. It's a light sprinkle. But I'm going to get out there and I'm going to try to hike this trail anyway and make an attempt. So let's go hike the Sutton Mine Trail. Come on, let's go. Hey everybody, I made it to the Sutton Mine Trailhead. You can see the sign right behind me. All Trails has this rated as a hard hike. It's four and a half miles out and back with 1,282 feet of elevation gain. And the first section, like most of the hikes here in Ure, Colorado, is the hardest because you're going up the side of the mountain until it kind of levels off a little bit. But uh, as far as equipment goes, same thing as always. Got a gallon of water, extra GoPro batteries, external uh, charging pack for my phone, and in this episode, have trekking pole. I ordered a trekking pole off of Amazon. It's a Trail Buddy trekking pole. And I'm gonna actually be reviewing this trekking pole at the end of this video to let you guys know if it's worth the purchase or not. I'm only using one pole today because as a creator, it's kind of hard to use two poles and record at the same time. So that's it. Let's go take on the Sutton Mine Trail. Come on. So far, I've been on trail 45 minutes. 
I'm a half a mile in and 782 feet of elevation gain. This trail is definitely a horror trail. You definitely, or I highly recommend trekking poles for this one because this first half mile is tough. You are going up, it is a pretty steep climb and you're going and you're doing a little rock climbing too coming up and this trekking pole that i'm using today has helped me out a lot i am at the ure overlook if you're scared of heights when you're coming up here to the ure overlook you're on the edge you're on the edge of the cliff but the view is fantastic let me show y'all what i'm looking at and why ure colorado is called the Switzerland of America. Let me show you the view. It is nestled in a valley surrounded by mountains. There is the amphitheater. And below there is the million dollar highway, Highway 550 here in Colorado. And it looks like I'm right above Box Canyon right now. And yeah, like all the hikes I've done so far here in Ure, that uh, that first section going up the mountain is gonna get you it's tough but my break is over it's time to push on and head to the Sutton mine and keep climbing up cuz I still have an uphill climb to go so let's go let's keep pushing
everybody. I made it to the Sutton Mine. I made it to the payoff. Let me go ahead and give you my all trail stats before I walk you around the mine site. Uh, I've been on trail two hours and 50 minutes, 2.56 miles, 1,122 feet of elevation gain. This mine is really, really cool. I'm gonna do uh, take you on a quick little walk around of the mine. I don't have any kind of historical information on it. I'll just give y'all a general look. And I got really bad weather setting in again, two hikes in a row. So after I'm done doing a walk around here at the mine, I'm gonna have to push back. I don't know how much uh, footage I'll be able to show you guys on the way back. Cause I'm gonna have to push real fast and try and complete this trail as quickly and as safely as possible. But let me show you around this mine and it's pretty cool. Here are some tracks in an old mine car that leads up to, looks like there was some kind of building or shed over the mine shaft right here. And uh, the rail car tra tracks go deep into, into the mine shaft. I ain't going in there. And the sign warns not to go in. So, I guess here's the miners Sutton Mine Shack, or maybe this was their cabin. I don't know what's up with the clothes. Like I said, I don't have any information on this. Hanging out here on this clothesline, that's pretty funny. They got someone's Fruit of the Loom drawers hanging on the line. And let's go inside. And here we are inside the mine, I guess, shack or cabin. This, I'm not sure what this is. This, I don't know if it was maybe a bed where they were sleeping or somewhere where they maybe processed the ore from the mine shaft. We have a table right here for a little bucket, another old tin bucket hanging on the wall. And we have like a little makeshift shelf. There's a sign-in book, a registry book, I guess, to show that you made it here to the payoff. Some broken pottery or dishes. I don't know how old that is. And it overlooks the Million Dollar Highway. So, pretty neat old place. Like I said, I don't know how old it is. I'll have to uh, do a little research for you guys and get y'all some information. But that's it from the payoff. I'm about to gear up. Well, I'm going to get a little water first, gear up, get my trekking pole, and, uh, and head back to the trailhead. The rain's coming in. I heard some thunder in the distance. Like I said, this is two hikes in a row where I've got some bad weather hitting me. So... Uh, look, oh, here's a little view of the back of the mine shack, which is kind of cool. But like I said, it's uh, time to go ahead and push back, push back quick. I'm going to see if I can show you guys the weather that's coming in out here on me. But yeah, yeah some pretty dark skies and rain again it might just pass over but that's it from the sutton mine and the payoff time to hydrate and head back as quickly and as safely as possible so let's go get the gear get the truck pole and head back
completed the Sutton Mine Trail. And here are my all trail stats. I traveled 4.77 miles round trip. Elevation gain 1,250 feet. And I burned 1,641 calories. Overall impression of this hike, it is definitely a hard hike like all trails said it is. 100% recommend a trekking pole. Lots of steep, steep climbs. You even have to go climb, actually climb over some rocks. There's a couple of river crossings where the trekking pole really came in handy. And uh, there's loose gravel, you name it. The Sutton Mine Trail has it. As far as their product review, the Trail Buddy trekking pole performed great. And I'm a big heavy guy and it held my weight and it wasn't a problem at all, worked great. And if you guys like this video, please, I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below on your thoughts on the trail and uh, any comments at all would be greatly appreciated. It would help me with the algorithm. Also, if you like this video and you, because there's gonna be more hiking videos, if you like this one, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you know when we post new videos because there are more hiking videos coming in our Hiking Colorado series. But that's it for now. I'm headed back to the RV. So glad you guys joined me. So appreciative of the support. And like we say in Louisiana, les le bon temps roule. Let the good times roll. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.